As always, a massive shout out and a thank you to my wonderful Patreon subscribers and YouTube channel members Fuzel, CC, Zan, Rob, Retro Galaxy, Matt, Fam, Van, Lighting Cat, Enmark Games, Jet Simon, Seth Kobel, Amari Lewis, Olivier Bernier, Gerard Dumont, Mood Fassel, Luna Heartless, Yanni Boy, Martin K, and Tor Alexanderson. Thank you guys for your continued support. And if you want to know more about what's on offer with the Patreon, there's a link in the description. Hey guys, welcome back. Today we're going to be changing the mouse cursor because the mouse cursor that we have as default is a little bit dull a little bit boring and it doesn't always fit with the style of your game if you have a game that is pixel art based it's really nice to have a cursor that is also pixel art based so this is what we have on the screen so far i've got this little cursor that i made it's eight by eight if i double click it's just three frames of animation so we've got the arrow key we've got a magnifying glass and we have a crosshairs Make sure the animation speed is set to zero and we've got all those three frames. Then I've put some objects on the screen, nothing special about them at all. It's just a red square, which I've called enemy, a green square, which is my player character and a little chest that I've designed. Now, when I move the cursor over certain objects, I then want the cursor to change based on what I'm focusing on. So let's put some events in the event sheet. First thing we need to do is make the cursor stick to the mouse. So we're going to say every tick and we're going to add an action. And we're going to say cursor, which is what I've named the sprite. And I'm going to say set position and mouse. It would help if I added the mouse. Double click. Let's add the mouse. Now we can set it to mouse.x and mouse.y. Now, when we play, you can see we're dragging it around the screen with the mouse. However, we still have the original cursor, which is what we don't want. So now let's go to add an event. We're going to go system and we're going to say on starter layout. And we're going to say mouse set cursor style to none. Now we just have this new mouse cursor in replace of the old one. Which is quite nice now what we're going to do is get it to change based on what we're focusing on and all we need to do to make that happen is say cursor and we're going to say is overlapping another object and we're going to say enemy then i'm going to do the same thing again and i'm going to say cursor is overlapping another object and i'm going to say chest then i'm going to create one more and i'm going to say cursor is overlapping another object and i'm going to say chest again and I'm going to copy this. If I just click on the middle bit, not the whole thing, hold down control, I can drag that into the bottom one. So it's a block and I'm going to push I on the keyboard on both to invert them, which says if the cursor is not overlapping the chest or the enemy, then I can go cursor set frame to zero, which is the arrow, drag that up change that one to a one, which is the magnifying glass, change that one to two, which is the crosshairs. So now you can see the crosshairs, magnifying glass. Otherwise we've got the arrow and that's how we make a dynamic custom cursor in Construct 3. If you found the tutorial useful, please consider giving the video a like or subscribe for more content. If you have a suggestion for future tutorials, there is a channel on my Discord where you can leave your suggestion. Links are in the description.